Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix NBA 2K24 is having controller is not working issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble all you have to do is we just need to do a simple restart on a PC and that is what we have to do. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon, go to this power icon over here, go for a simple restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what you have to do, that's the first step. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable or enable the steam input. This is quite easy, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here what we need to do is we just need to go to the controller and now as you can see we are having these options that is disable the steam input use default steam setting we have to go for enable the steam input. So you can go for enable the steam input and try launch the game so if enable the steam input is not working we can try with the disable the steam input and try launch the game. So either enable the steam input or disable the steam input any one of the things will be working fine and this is what we have to do. Once you're done with this one, if the issue is still there, we can try with the next step. Next step is all about we need to launch the game and you have to use only the controller. I don't know how this is related, but for many users it worked, so you can try this out. Just launch the game, just use the controller in order to navigate further. It worked for many users, so you can try the same. Next one is all about we need to disconnect other peripherals. So what happens is your PCs might be connected with uh, um, uh, the mouses, uh, the controllers, joystick, logistic wheels, any other peripherals might be connected. So just remove everything. Once you remove everything, even the controller should be removed. So just remove everything, launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched and you're smooth with it, just connect back the controller or joystick which you wanted to play. Even if the mouse is just connected back and that is going to work for you guys. It's because it worked for many users in my knowledge so we can try this out as well. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game in the big picture mode. For this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in this particular icon over here as you can see the big picture mode so what we need to do is just click on this one so we are getting into the big picture mode right now as you can see once you get into the big picture mode what we need to do is we just need to go over here to select the game and there is an option to play the game so just launch the game in the big picture mode so this is kind of definitely work for you guys because in my knowledge it worked for many users so you can try this out once you're done with this one just go for escape and you can go for escape once again now go for the power over here and you can go for exit big picture mode so once you exit the big picture mode what you need to do is we just need to go over here and we just need to try launch the game and that is going to work for you guys as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable uh, not to disable we have to turn off the steam overlay which is very important i don't know how but it worked for many users i found this from the reddit as well so that is why i'm sharing so just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties make sure this is turned it off this is very important and you have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game and that is very important as well next one we have to close the overlay application for just we just need to go over here right click and we have to go over here in the task manager and from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are actually 43 apps running in the background so all these things are actually utilizing the performance in the same way when you launch the game these launching at the same simultaneously it is going for the crashing issue so what we need to do is just remove everything in the unwanted things has to be removed for example overlay and overclocking applications such as discord river tuner msc afterburner all these things has to be removed and once you remove all these things just close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but you should be always using the wired controller wireless controller should not be used because one of the main reason so just use wired controller all the time because it worked for many so you can try this out as well and the last and the least one is all about we have to install the xbox accessories I don't know how but it worked for many users as well so we just need to go for the microsoft store over here and most probably i think for me it is already installed so we just will get into the store and once after you get into the store we just need to go over here and you have to search for uh, the xbox accessories just search for the xbox accessories and you'll be getting the xbox accessories over here once you receive the xbox accessories as you can see here it is already open so which means i have already installed so once you open this just update your controller using the xbox accessories and it worked for many users so these are the possible workaround which can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye